Hi and welcome back to my channel. This will be a specific question tarot reading for Melissa. She would like to know if she is going to meet her life partner soon. So I have done a reading for Melissa. I did one for her before but it was a little bit more general. I did ask about soulmates and all that but I also explained to Melissa that a soulmate is not necessarily a romantic partner. A soulmate can be a friend, a family member, someone that you just feel a connection with and someone that you feel drawn to and someone that you get along with really well. So Melissa came back to me and said that she would now like to find out about her life partner, the person that she's meant to be with or that she's supposed to spend her life with. So in this reading, I will be attempting to answer that question using my pendulum my makeshift pendulum that is actually just a necklace but you know what i have explained in my previous videos that you can use anything as a pendulum as long as it's cleansed as long as you've prayed or um done some form of protection on it because it is basically a tool to connect with source or spirit or god or whatever you wish to call it so whenever you're doing these types of things, these um, spiritual activities, rather just first cleanse your pendulum and make sure that you are protected, your energy is protected. So before I answer Melissa's question, I'm just going to ask my pendulum some general questions that I know the answers to because we want to make sure that we will get an accurate answer from the pendulum. So I'm just going to ask you guys to bear with me for a minute or two while I ask it some general questions because the pendulum sometimes can give unclear answers. We're looking for a yes, no or maybe question, answer. Um, so we need to ask it direct questions that can be answered with yes, no or maybe. But then keep in mind that yes is mostly when it swings in this direction. No is usually that and then maybe is normally a circle. But not always, all right? Sometimes it can be the other way around. So I'm just going to take a sip of water. And then I'll ask it some general questions first. Before we get to Melissa's question. And I'm going to be asking it two questions for Melissa. So just give me a second while I connect with the pendulum. And this does require quite a lot of energy. After doing a pendulum reading, I just feel drained, completely drained, which is why I ask my clients or I tell my clients that my pendulum readings cost a little bit more because it really can take its toll on me. All right. Is today Saturday? Very strong yes. Is, are we currently in winter? Yes, very strong yes. Am I going to, am I going to travel overseas? No, that is too vague. <laughs> I don't want to ask it questions that reveal too much of my personal information. Is my middle name Nicole? Very strong, yes. Am I 32 years old? No, I only just turned 29. So we know that the pendulum's accurate. I have now connected with it. And I'm now going to ask it two questions. So, this will be for Melissa. Has Melissa met her life partner yet? It's telling me maybe. Maybe and then it goes to yes. Keep in mind that if the pendulum gives a vague answer like that, it's not really vague because maybe is an answer, all right? 
But if it seems vague to you, I'm going to be using the tarot to clarify everything. So I'm thinking of a more specific way of asking it. Has Melissa made her life partner yet? That's still showing me maybe. A very strong maybe. So I have to say at this point that when you're asking the pendulum a question, when it gives you an answer, you should actually trust the answer it gives you first. Once you've established that there's a connection between you and the pendulum, if you repeatedly ask the same question over and over again, eventually it will start giving you an inaccurate answer because it's saying like, you know, you don't trust me, so I'll just give you whatever because you don't believe me anyway. So now I'm going to just start messing with you. If the pendulum could speak, that's what it would be saying. So, is Melissa going to meet her life partner soon? It's saying no, but I must tell you that things like, words like soon, um, good, bad, far, close, those things are all relative. So what I see as being soon, the pendulum might not see as being soon, or the universe might not see as soon. So I feel like it's asking me, what do you mean soon? Will Melissa meet her life partner in the next few months? Maybe. Let's go with that. Okay, although the pendulum said maybe she's met her life partner, I don't know how to explain, but when the pendulum gives me a maybe answer with a question like this, I feel like the universe is saying certain things are best for you not to know yet. It's best if you don't know the answer to this just yet. Because I feel like if the answer was yes, the person would act on it. And if the answer was no, the person would also act on it. So either way, a yes or a no answer would affect the person to such an extent that it would completely impact their life or their decision making. So if the pendulum says maybe, then there's a reason why the universe is saying maybe. We don't know what that reason is. I don't know if the pendulum or the universe feels like if they say no, that you will completely lose hope and give up and be like, oh, there's no one for me out there. I'm going to end up alone. I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. And I feel like if the pendulum says yes, then you'll start making a list of like all the possible candidates for this life partner, like who fits, fits your idea or who fits your description of your life partner. And then you'll be maybe thinking that it's someone like person A when it's actually person B. And then maybe it's it's best for you not to know right now. So we are going to use the tarot cards to try and clarify and find out more about Melissa's life partner. And then we'll see if we get some more clear answers. So that was part one of my reading. Stay tuned for part two.